Can you really heat a van with a flower pot and a few tea lights like many YouTube videos and Facebook posts say you can? I've seen these posts for years and my science theory has always said no way, but let's use some thermal imaging to really find out. If the results are as I expect, you might want to watch our video on other options for van heating, which you can find by clicking here. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing. In this experiment, we're only going to test the heating efficiency of using tea lights and flower pot. I'm not going to consider if it's toxic or a fire risk. Having seen firsthand what fire is capable of, check out our campsite fire video here if you haven't already. Just the fire risk would be enough for me not to consider using this. However, let's see if it does actually work as an effective heater. We're going to take a basic flower pot heater set up from a random YouTube video. So after a trip to the local budget store, we've got a pot, we've got some tea lights, and we've got a metal tray to raise the pot and protect the surface. I'm going to use three tea lights. Let's have a very quick look at the theory. One tea light gives off approximately 40 watts of heat. To give a comparison, a resting human adult gives off around 100 watts of heat. So theoretically, getting some mates around could be a more effective form of heating. As I said, in this experiment, I'm going to use three tea lights, which will equate to around 120 watts heat output. Let's consider the space we've got to heat. So roughly two meters by two meters by five meter area with two square meters of windows and insulation based on an average room. And do remember a van is likely to be worse than this. Theoretically, you would need at least 750 watts heat output to keep it comfortable year round based on UK weather conditions. So it sounds like the 120 watts of three tea lights probably isn't going to do a lot. You would need around 19 tea lights to give you that 750 watts output. Let's take a look at the practical test. We're going to do two tests. The first with just the three tea lights and then repeated with the three tea lights covered by a plant pot. I'm going to position these targets at 20 centimetres, 60 centimetres and one metre distances away from the heater to represent a person trying to keep warm. The 20 centimetre target is going to be on the same level as the candles, the 60 and the one metre are going to be above the candles. Over the next few hours we'll measure the ambient temperature in the van and the temperature of each target away from the heater. For consistency, we'll be keeping an eye on the outside temperature of the van to make sure there isn't any big fluctuations. We've started by taking a baseline figure of the three targets. And then we light the candles. Over the next few hours, we measure the temperature of each of the targets. And then after letting the ambient temperature return to normal, we repeat the exercise with the plant pot in place. You can see from the thermal imaging that the plant pot is absorbing the heat from the candles and doesn't take long to get to a good temperature. However, you can also see that, that heat doesn't radiate very well, with very little of it even reaching the target 20 centimetres away. Again, we measured any temperature difference on all the targets over the next few hours. So here are the results. Firstly, looking at the temperatures with just the candles, we can see little to no variation in temperature of the targets, though the ambient air temperature did slightly increase. Interestingly, probably due to the convection currents, we actually saw the closest target reduce in temperature. This could also have caused the rapid cooling of the 60 cm target after the candles were extinguished. Now let's look at the temperatures with the plant pot in place. There's no increase in the ambient temperature of the van. But the 20 cm target does increase by just one degree. 
My conclusions are, does it generate heat? Yes, of course it does. It's a flame. Does the plant pot actually do anything? Yes, it diffuses what little heat there is and is better at the can alone at heating something that's 20 centimetres away from it. Does it keep a van warm and comfortable? No, absolutely not. You'd be far better off with a good sleeping bag or jumper or thermals or hot water bottle. So if you're serious about heating for your van that will actually keep you comfortable, check out our video here.